The Big Brother crowd's not going to like this, but I am curious to get your thoughts on if you think it's a good idea. Um, several towns and cities in France, Spain, and also in the UK, they have these programs now that require pet owners to have their dog's genetics registered and logged in a database. So that way, they can use that DNA testing to track down irresponsible pet owners, for example, who are not picking up after their dogs. Nice. So it's another <laughs> way to go after lazy bones. Yeah, if you get caught, it's a fine of around 135 bucks. Poop narcs. Okay. Also, if you're out in public with your pet, you are required to carry proof that your dog is registered. And if you get caught without it, that's another fine. 40 Do you bucks. Have papers for this dog. Oh, yeah. yeah. Where are your papers? Yeah, there's a difference between they're doing this as government, because we do this in America in some like uh, apartment complexes. Yeah. yeah. But the actual city doing it's a whole different level. Yeah. So what do you think? Uh, yes? No? Do we like this idea, Rave? I mean, I would love people to be fined if they poop in my yard, which I also don't pick up. I just leave it there. Yeah. Really? Well, it's not your dog. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not yeah, picking up somebody yard. else's poop. Yeah, but she's also she's also not walking around her yard. She's not going to step That's in it. True. Yeah. That, I shan't that be is true. Yeah. I will spend all day indoors. I love the idea. I mean, whether they enforce it or not, I like the idea because it, it... Maybe people think twice. Yeah, right, exactly, yeah. because they you know... know. Uh, Greg Gorey? Uh, against it, this is one of those things like we are inching closer to show me your papers. You know, like well, we already have. We have driver's licenses, and we have other things that you need identification I, I for. Show that. me your dog license, right? And then you have to have it with you at all times. And it's one of those things where you're going to argue over, you know, half an hour over something that if you stopped arguing about it and just did it, it took five seconds. If I saw poop in my yard and I'm upset about it, I'm still going to just pick it up. See, I, I feel like I would have thought that Greg would have been on board with no. that because mm -hmm. you're not it's an irresponsible big... dog owner guy yeah. like you do pick up. Right. But or maybe a... you don't. Of course. I, well, maybe my, that's yeah. what First of all, my dog doesn't mm -hmm. poop on walks. She only poops in the yard, <laughs> uh, which sucks. <laughs> I wish she would poop on, on walks. Uh, but no, it's just another big brother money grab, get government involved in everything. It's stupid. All right. Uh, Menace? It. I mean, I love the idea and the concept and with the DNA testing, but the... <laughs> I don't know. I think it's the uh, slippery slope of like slipping, leading, in, like slipping, leading, in it, yeah, slipping in, leading in to other things that they can charge you for, government wise. They already take like pretty what? much all of our money. Like, like so now they're like, oh, now okay. it's uh, DNA testing for the dog. <laughs> then it's what? Like what's what? Oh, then it's uh, cats. Then it's you know frogs. I don't know. It just leads to just more things that they can uh, charge okay. you for. It that leads to frogs. This is on the right angle. He has nothing. Yeah. He can't explain it. Yeah, I can't he's, explain he's got, it. He's got the right I idea. I thought you would pretty much understand it when I said it. I didn't Allow me to help. You would ask more. me to elaborate. Allow me to help. <laughs> so people say like, "Oh, well, marijuana." I'm not. I'm not agreeing with it, but like, marijuana mm -hmm. is a gateway drug to what? Oh, cocaine and other mm -hmm. harder drugs. Yeah, this is a slippery slope to what? It's well, a, I'll, so, I'll explain. It's okay, a slippery slope you, to Bass. legislating everything that should mm -hmm. be common sense and common courtesy. Again, this goes back to shopping carts. Obviously, the mm -hmm. greatest uh, theory mm -hmm. ever invented is that if yeah, people ask me all the time, should this be illegal? No, it should be what you do. It, you, you can't right. have if you can't. Because it, it, then people will say, mm -hmm. oh, well, s something's not right or wrong unless it's legal or illegal. No, there's a whole swath of things in life that are right and wrong objectively so are you that aren't about, a law. But are you talking about perfect world because people don't, which is why you have to have no, but rules see, and laws. But people do mm -hmm. in, a, in a better world, a.k.a. Japan. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Again, because <laughs> if you start making it the government telling you what's right and wrong in life, then you lose that yeah. whole like learning how to do humanity. things from your parents and humanity. You can't have the government do it. It has to be in your. Mm. It has to yeah. be in yeah. you. And, and in I wish that people. would work, but I, I don't think like because Japan does it. I, I don't think, in other words, that you could just like get other whole other societies, United States or whoever else, to all of a sudden adopt that and you be like, try. you know what? Yeah, stop being garbage you people. You can't, you can't throw up your hands <laughs> and say, mm -hmm. well. People are jerks. No, no. People don't have to be jerks. They can be better, and it starts at home. Thank you very much. See you I agree <laughs> with you. I think two things can be true. I agree with that, but for mm -hmm. the people who just don't care about that stuff, because then it won't it won't affect Greg or it won't affect me. That right. We're responsible yeah. pet owners or, other, or other things. You make them care. Not by, through the force of law, through the force of common courtesy. They don't care about that stuff. You, you, yeah, they do. Mm -hmm. They do. They do? They have, that's, again, if you, if, yeah. you, if you get that. I don't know. I have you, the internet, dude. I got social media. I see a bunch of people every day who don't care about anybody else. I understand. That doesn't mean that's not, doesn't that mean that's the throw up your hands attitude. Right. Along right. those yeah. lines, like, I don't want to be told to use a reusable bag at the grocery store. I do, but I don't want to be told to use yeah. one. Yeah. No, throwing up your hands, I think, would be like, oh, we'll just let people do it then. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Throwing up your hands, I don't think, is putting something in place to, uh, you know, 
there's a consequence. Then it's cameras everywhere. Then it's yeah. 1984 slash Black Mirror slash whatever you want to you know fill in your favorite yeah. reference. Slash yeah. pay a See, fine for they, breathing. Thanks for explaining for yeah, that's everything else. Slash, 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 you know what I'm saying? It's slash brave new world. Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Whatever dystopia you want to okay. put when the yeah. government, when you give government all that oppor- all that uh, power and opportunity, you take it away from people and people mm-hmm. just forgive up. All right. So what do you think? Good idea? Yes or no on the text. <laughs> 